I'm starting out on a wash and go that's about a week old. So I still have some curls left, but I really wanted to try this hairstyle. So I figure, why not? I can always do another wash and go if it fails. So now I'm just going to section my hair so I can get four parts. And it's a little bit tangled because I haven't applied any water yet. But once I add some moisture to it, it'll be good to go. going to clip up one side because it was too big section off this second part clip the first side out the way and now let's go ahead and twist up the second side and clip that out the way so we can get moisturizing this side of my hair for some reason always feels way larger um so i don't know if i just have maybe more hair on this side or what's going on but it's all clipped up now i'm dancing to the music in the background so now i'm going to section this part in half just split it in half pin the top half out of the way and that's just water going to start moisturizing my hair. Now I like to use this type of spray bottle versus your traditional spray bottle because this allows just a mist so that my hair doesn't get too wet. And this is like my ultimate spray bottle. It's just easier to control the amount of water that I'm applying to my hair. So I rub it in to make sure it gets absorbed in each strand and start to finger detangle. Now if I were trying to do this without water or even putting too much water, it would be not a good experience. So just having that mist really makes it easy for my hands to glide through my hair and get all those tangles out. You're going to bend it to make a U shape. I'm gonna go ahead.
one section out of the clip one section out of the way and with the remaining section just wrap it around one we'll call it one leg of the flex rod so where I may have messed up is that it's kind of, it's not flat It's almost as if I've twisted my hair and then wrapped it around. But I always add a little bit of water on the ends and then typically I recomb it um, to help it smooth and just completely wrap around the roller. And again guys, I didn't add any product to my hair. I figure I could add some water to my hair and it would reactivate the product that was currently in my hair. of the roller it doesn't have to be all the way at the top but it depends on the length of your hair my hair is probably on a little bit on the longer side so I have to make sure I start all the way at the top so that my hair can fit around that whole leg of the roller so again spritzed it with some water and just continue wrapping it and I need to leave a little bit of space so that I can bend the flex rod up. It's so slippery. There we go. Squeeze both sides together. And voila. One section is completed. Yay! the wide tooth comb I will go through it with my fine tooth comb after I apply some more water sprayed my face a little bit of shedding just a couple hairs that are coming out so my postpartum shedding has slowed down tremendously Oh, forgot to bend the roller. Duh. Apply the U section, pin one side away, and get to wrapping. At this point, I had started to get the hang of it and could go a little bit faster. But my hands were still really slippery. So my camera died and Micah needed to be nursed. So I decided to finish the rest off camera, let my camera charge. And now we're going to go ahead and go through and do this last little section. So I'll show you one last time. Sprayed water, detangled. Split the parts, wrap the roller around. Wrap the second part around. And I am good to go. 
So in total, I used nine rollers. This is the next day. I ended up having to sleep in them because I didn't go for a walk like I planned on to kind of let them air dry. So I had to let them dry overnight, which sucks because I hate sleeping in these rollers. So I just straightened them out a little bit, checking to make sure they were dry. Unrolled them, which was fairly simple. And at this moment, I was looking like, yeah, this is not going to turn out well. I could already tell on how thick the curls were and how clumped they were together that they weren't spiraled enough. I could already tell that this was not going to be a good turnout. So some areas were curled pretty nice, some areas were just kind of furry, and my hair felt disgusting.